going? See. Man, I think my tuberculosis is acting up today. Mm. All right, we got a secret patient. We're gonna get an M name. Uh, his name's gonna be uh, Marco. How about Marco? What's it's not gonna be an M. What is it? Well, I can't tell you what his real no, name is. No, I'm just video. saying. Look at it. Okay, good. Yeah, Marco. You'll be Marco. You'll be Marco for the video. Marco, you've had pain in your right elbow for how long? Six to eight weeks. Six to eight weeks. Did you do something, some kind of injury, to get this hurting? Not that I'm aware of. What kind of activities do you do now that brings the pain out? Shaking hands, lifting something, swinging a hammer, trying to swing a golf club. Why would you swing a hammer? You're not one of those hammers. I have to fix something. Oh, are you sure? I fixed it. Fixed him or her? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay, we got some interesting things uh, coming up there, Ms. Gonzo. We have the uh, What Does Molly Have contest. Remember that? That ends on Saturday. Mm -hmm. Everybody gets to find out what the di mystery diagnosis that we did there, Marco. So. Okay, so what we're going to do are the... I oh, know, we have a patient here. We should attend to his needs, right? Uh, yeah. What you have is a lateral epicondylitis. You have a tennis elbow. It's what it's called colloquially. And uh, this is hurting him a lot. Now, if this was just a little bit of pain, we would put you on an anti-inflammatory and get you one of those tennis elbow bands and say, hey, give it some time. But this is hurting you a lot. This is a really tender one. So we're going to go ahead and just treat this with a cortisone shot. And why not, right? It's why fun. Not? It's fun and interesting. So we're looking oh for God, our... I didn't use a fresh needle. You left the leftover needle from yesterday. Mm -hmm. Don't pay any attention to her. <laughs> well, it is almost Friday. Yeah, that's the that's the day where the needle's the dullest. We only change them out on Mondays around here. It's part of our new, um, you know, cutting cost program and everything. He's, Mar Marco is not... <laughs> I don't think he's amused. <laughs> Eating four by fours. Uh, no, just I'll just get one here in a second. So we're gonna use some betadine to clean this little joint up here, and. Gonzo has no gloves, so you can, she can't help you do nothing. Gonzo doesn't help a whole lot anyway. Punk. What kind of work you do, Marco? Oil and gas. Oil and gas. Surprise, surprise. Surprise mm -hmm. and surprise. That's our area here. Okay, I just want you to know right up front that we're not gonna feel a thing. Okay, mm -hmm. so I want you. Wait, 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 I'm shaking it up. I gotta shake it up. Shake, 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 shake. All right, I'm she's gonna spray, uh, spray a little cold spray on you, okay? So hopefully this won't hurt very much, but you might feel a little pain. The important thing is don't jump. Good job, Gonzo. A little stick right there. You okay? Yep. You don't like your right little now. redirect. There we go. Now, uh, our goal is to only put about a half a cc to three quarters of a cc. This is a very small spot. We don't want to ever force the cortisone in, in here because if we do, then we're in the wrong place. If, if it doesn't easily go in, how are you feeling right now? Just fine. You okay? Yep. You don't have any sudden urge to hit a doctor or anything, right? I feel close to passing out, but I'll be all right. Are you, do you really? No. He <laughs> fits perfect with us. There we go. I think we're in the right place there. Okay, so we're coming out. How was that? Not bad. Not bad. Good. Now the next question is, did we get the medicine in the right place? Because we're we're you know we're going somewhat blindly here. We we kind of know where we want to be. So the next test is to have you move your arm around a little bit. Shake the doctor's hand. Shake my hand. There you go. You're a good man. I don't care what they said about you up front. Better. So if you feel an improvement, it doesn't have to be 100% yet. What we're looking for is just a little improvement. It tells us the medicine's in the right place and it'll start working tomorrow. Yeah, a little better. A little better, okay. So um, tonight, about an hour before you go to bed, I want you to ice your elbow here for 20 minutes. Okay, that's important. And uh, t just take it easy for a little while. Give this uh, give this a chance to kind of calm down. The, the cortisone is to help reduce the inflammation in that, that uh, area there, okay? And uh, you should be fine. Now, if you were, have been performing an activity that caused this to get started in the first place and you go right back to it, mm -hmm. you're going to bring this back on despite the treatment here, okay? So the good thing about doing the cortisone injection is I don't feel the need to, to necessarily follow this up with an oral anti-inflammatory. So you're going to save that, you know, money and whatever, okay? Any exercises that nope. are, to, I mean, not not while it's inflamed, right. but later to try to, no. I don't know. No, this yeah. is not something that responds, um, well, you know, I, I'm going to say I'm not aware of any exercises that you can that you can do to help prevent this from coming back in the future. Um, 12 ounce curls, they don't do any good. <laughs> that helps everything. Uh, but 
No, I don't think so. Now, you might go online, you may find a physical therapist out there or somebody that says, hey, if you do this certain thing, it may help strengthen that area. Um, I'm not going to say that doesn't happen. I just, it's not uh, part of my repertoire, what we do here. So, uh, repertoire. Repertoire. That's a good word, right? French word. Uh, and, French. and it does sound kind of French, yeah. He okay. Thinks he speaks French. We oui, we oui. and the uh, <laughs> those bands. I mean, do they? Yeah, they do work. Cause do they, they help prevent? I mean, like if I yeah. were to play golf in right. a couple of weeks. It, yeah, they do. Okay. Yeah, and they're good because they sort of help kind of keep everything lined up the way it's supposed to be and, and reduce the inflammation. Uh, so they help prevent it from coming back. So, yeah, if you were to, to perform those activities again that you know may have contributed to this, uh, next time if you were to wear a band with that, most likely it wouldn't uh, wouldn't come back as easily. All righty. You're a good patient. Good job. Thanks, Thank Marco. Good job. Tell us something. Hi, I'm Suzanne, and I take Dr. G's Meta 7. This right here? I've been taking it since, yeah. um, well, for one month, actually. Okay. And? and I really enjoy it because uh, it activates my life, just like it says. Yeah. I have lots of energy. You do have more energy. And, yes. A lot and more you're energy. taking it as part of a weight loss program, right? Yes. Okay. And now, we have lost some weight, but we're not going to attribute all of that to the Meta 7 because we, no. use, we use something else to help. But... The good thing is, is while you're losing weight, you still have lots of energy. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks. You're welcome. And I like to swim, and so it's great because I can swim extra long because of the Meta 7. I, you know, I really, really enjoy it. Awesome. So, yes. Thanks. You're welcome. All right, folks, this is Emily, and Emily's been using Coco Skin Plus. Emily, um, you want to give your personal testimonial? I started taking Coco Skin Plus about six months ago, and since then I've noticed a huge difference in my skin. It's softer, my hair is softer, and it's grown so long. Awesome. I highly recommend it. Um, I've definitely noticed a difference. It's definitely helped my hair feel better, my skin feel better, and you can pick it up on Amazon. All right, check out Coco Skin Plus on m7amazon.com. Available, and it was designed by Dr. John Gilmore. Thanks.